What is happening, guys? It is Wednesday night, and we are at the Hack and Pack Shop. And it's late. It's like 10 o'clock. But I got work to do, guys. You know, got to get the stuff done. Got this freaking big bad Bonerville in here. Could do a little hacking and packing around a gas tar and that sucker. What a freaking rotted mess that was. Some bitch. So anyway, guys, um, I got to tell you about something I did today. Um, you guys uh, remember the last video I uploaded for you guys? It was actually an old video that I recorded. Mm, I don't know, maybe uh, two, three weeks ago. We were driving a blue Accord. We were looking for a Ram. And... Um, you guys remember the uh, red low mileage 89 Trans Am I had? Get the keyword, had. Well, I bartered both of those vehicles off today. Um, buddy of mine was looking for something different, and I'm always looking for something different, so this is what we did. We traded that red Honda, or the red Trans Am, I'm sorry, and the blue Accord for that. It's a 2003. Silverado Z71 extended cab long box and I'm not really into the long box trucks guys um, Especially if they're extended cab, but hey, it is what it is. Okay beggars cannot be choosers It's a nice clean truck. It's not a southern truck, but it is a really well maintained truck It does have a little bit of rust on the rockers a little bit there in the gas door if you could see it right there uh, a little bit on the bottom of the tailgate, but guys, nothing severe, nothing... This truck's equivalent, I'd say, condition-wise to an 06, roughly, okay? Um, it's not beat up, there's no dents in it, there's no huge dings in it, there's no scratches in it. Somebody took care of this thing. Got some nice wheels on it, even though these center's got to be uh, polished up a little bit. American Racing wheels, but I think these will clean up with some steel wool, guys. We'll see if we could find a piece of steel wall and show you guys what to do with all that. Um, but I think they'll clean up good. You know, they just need to be scrubbed up. Okay, got decent tires on it. Okay, they're, I don't know, I think the fronts are about half tread. These are about third tread on the back. Got cloth interior, power windows, locks, mirrors. The mirrors are actually uh, power extending, too. These mirrors actually extend out to about here. I think they extend out about three, four inches, too. And they got some... Weird looking vent shades here. They're not real Lund, but hey, does the job. Good running truck though. Bumpers aren't beat up. Fire up for you here. This is what I want to show you. <clears throat> this radio for you GM guys that work at the dealers. Um, this is the deal. They had to put a PCM in it um, not too long ago. And ever since they did the PCM, um, the radio hasn't worked. I think they had to flash it and they changed it. There was something going on where the uh, the key wasn't reading the PCM or vice versa. <clears throat> so I believe they put a new key in a new uh, PCM or they flashed the PCM or something. Ever since then, the radio hasn't worked. Um, so now it's stuck on lock. And as I'm being told, I can go to the uh, GM dealer for between 45 and $90 and have this son of a bitch reprogrammed. Now, do any of you guys have any ideas how I can fix this? I really don't want to put an aftermarket radio in it. These radios and these trucks actually sounded really good. Um, you know, it's got the CD player and stuff in it too. Um, but it is a 2003. I th they must have changed something in the radio because I was in a couple forums in like 2002s. You know, you do this or whatever, but you're supposed to press like the 2 and 3 button, okay? And it gives you like three digits and you freaking write those down and you do something else and gives you three more digits you call you know this hotline and they pretty much give you a radio code well this vehicle if you hit the two and three on it they uh it doesn't do anything um it's the rds radio whatever the hell that's supposed to mean okay um riding dead stick i don't know <laughs> but uh so bitch right um so if any of you guys can give me a couple pointers on that so I don't have to go to the dealership and spend between $45 and $90 to fix a stinking radio, okay, I'll put an aftermarket one in it for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but really, that's the only real issue with this truck. That, uh, I had to put rear rotors on it. Look at these. They're not only thin. This one's freaking, look at that. Oh, yeah. This son of a bitch, you hit the brakes on this thing, it felt like you were hitting a sledgehammer against a floorboard. 
So I stuck some uh, rear pads and rotors on it. And it did straighten it out, but I do think it's still got a caliper hanging up on the right rear. Um, so I'm going to put some calipers on it here sometime soon. Um, but it's a nice truck. Lear cap on it. And you want to know, this is a good sign on a truck, guys, to show you here. Obviously, they took this off here so the cap would close. Okay, this is my guess, the tailgate guard. You know, like a lot of these 03s had this guard that went across here. 03 and up. Well, look at this, guys. See the top of this tailgate? Look at that. You got one ding in it right there. That's it. Got a couple marks on it. I mean, how many truck tailgates do you see that are in that good of shape? You can tell this, this truck wasn't used and abused. Okay? The cap's been on the thing, I would guess, almost its whole life. I mean, look down the side of that truck. Tell me it isn't a nice truck. I know it's kind of dark over here. Actually, we could plug in this light. This place is a mess. It's a mess. But hey, when you're busy, that happens. You ain't got time for all that cleaning. There we go. Now you guys might be able to see. 03 is the first year for that headlight. Then that grill setup, the front fenders, the hood. The whole front end basically is different. Uh, 03, they also did not put moldings on the box, they only put moldings on the doors. Dash changed the touch, steering wheel changed a lot. Front bumpers are a little bit different. It's got the fog lights, but you can't see it because the damn door's shut. It's freaking getting cold and windy out there. Nice truck. Real nice truck. It runs great. It goes down the road nice. The thing rides literally like a Cadillac. It's quiet. I just kicked over a spray can, so I'm bitch. Um, but yeah. Hopefully we can get a video outside for you guys so you guys can check this thing out. And uh, hopefully we can start getting some how-to videos going. Hopefully this computer will be uh, friendly with me tonight. And uh, we'll be able to get this video uploaded for you. That would be sweet. And then we can do like a little drive down the road in this truck. Uh, you guys are wondering about the mileage in the motor. It's a uh, 5.3 in it. 4L60 E transmission. Uh, so it's got overdrive. Uh, it's got 165 on it. But guys driving it, you'd think it had 60 on it. Seriously. I mean, this thing's got 3,000 miles less than my blue one. And the blue one, <laughs> she's getting tired, guys. So I think this is going to be the replacement for the blue one. Not sure yet. But I think we did okay. I think we did all right. We turned two into one. Some bitch. So, y'all have a goody-goody. We'll get some more videos up for you soon. And uh, hope you enjoy, guys. And we'll see you later. Be good. Later.